Welcome to Whatever Wednesdays. Thank you to our subscriber who had the feedback that they really wanted to make slime, but they didn't have all of the ingredients. So because of that, we decided that we were gonna do an oobleck recipe as well, which uses two ingredients. So hopefully you have them at home. If not, we'll keep trying. So oobleck uses cornstarch and water. So I have one cup of cornstarch that I'm gonna to add to a bowl, and then half a cup of water. You're just adding both of those to the bowl. You can use a spoon to stir if you want. I'm gonna use my hand. And you're just gonna slowly start mixing in those clumps into the water. So there are clumps of cornstarch. You're just gonna be mixing them around. If you find you don't have enough water, you can always add a little bit more, but you kind of want it to start being this weird consistency where it seems like it's clumpy, but then it's also wet at the same time, and I'll show you why. If you have any food coloring at home or temper paint, you can add that to your oobleck as well to add a color to it. I'm gonna do a green. Similar to slime, you don't need a lot. One, two, three. Whoops. I think I did that with the slime too. And then you can just mix it in. Your hand might get a little bit of color on it. That'll come off in a bath. It's gonna feel a little bit funny in your fingers. And oobleck is super cool because as you can see, see, you can pick it up and it's liquid. Ugh! And it just runs off your hand. And you can go slow and go slowly into it. And it just feels like water, maybe with a bit of sand at the bottom. Or you can take your hand and go hard and fast and you can poke it can hit it and it'll stay at the top of it and then you can go slow and sink into it it's really fun to show people as well because some people haven't seen it yeah. same with you can pick it up in your hand you can make a ball with it and then the minute you stop moving it just turns into liquid again and it's a really cool trick anyway that's oobleck hope you enjoyed and I hope you're able to make this at home. Tune in tomorrow for Tasty Thursdays. We're going to be making some tie-dye icing for some cookies. Bye guys!